project like Cumberland, we had to do a pretty extreme level of modeling. BIM, otherwise known as virtual design construction, is the process of modeling varying components to virtually construct a project prior to physically constructing it. This is made up of three main parts, modeling, coordination, and construction drawings. Projects like Cumberland has its own set of benefits and challenges to virtually construct. These include additional services like med gas, RO water, and increased duct work. However, completing the process of virtual design construction allows coordination, fabrication to happen earlier in the project than off-site, resulting in shorter construction schedules. Model can vary in levels of detail. On a project like Cumberland, we go to great levels of detail, modeling with manufacturer and model specific parts and fittings to coordinate and fabricate from. After we uh, complete uh, the modeling stage, we then proceed into the coordination phase, which entails uh, ensuring that all the components or elements do not intersect or, or collide with any other trades. This is most often done through secondary software usage, which allows you to navigate uh, freely throughout the facility. It also allows you to uh, drop in at any portion of the building, as well as perform clash detection. Following the coordination and sign-off of areas of the building, uh, we begin the process of generating fabrication drawings for our shop to build portions of the systems off-site. This includes such items as showers, clinical service sinks, backflow preventer racks, film bell boxes, and med gas outlets. Uh, one of the largest advantages of utilizing BIM software to do the coordination modeling stages uh, does allow uh, the offsetting of some of the field schedule uh, as a result, so then the, the field can be less man hours on site. Uh, you can offset some of that with the shop settings. The shop can be fabricating uh, portions of the building well before the field will be able to install it. Following all of the fabrication being completed, we would also put together installation drawings that vary in, in discipline and services for the field to then know uh, where those schools to go, at what elevations, what dimensions, and locations within the building. The overall project duration for where design was involved was, I think, six to eight months. 